All right, we are on server C and we're going to do some folder sharing. So I'm going to go to my Windows Explorer on C and let's make a new folder called Top Gun. Yes, love that movie. And under Top Gun, we are going to go inside that folder and create a new text document called Danger Zone dot text. And in the contents of Danger Zone, we're going to put in Top Gun. Gun Academy is awesome. Yes. I'm going to close this out and save it. Let's go back now to our Top Gun folder and let's share it out as Navy. So we're going to go to Properties of that Top Gun folder, go to the Sharing tab, Advanced Sharing, check the box. Now, again, notice by default it wants to share it out as the physical name of the folder which we know to be Top Gun, but we're going to share it out instead as Navy, which is perfectly uh, fine to do. So let's do OK and close. So we've shared that out. Again, we can go look at that as Navy. Now we want to allow only domain admins and patients group full control to that Top Gun folder. And under normal circumstances, we're going to have to deal with two sets of permissions. We know the default permission is everyone read. Uh, and that could potentially conflict with our NTFS permissions. That's a whole other set of permissions that are over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our sharing permissions and set them up the way that I taught you in class, which is getting rid of the everyone read only permission. And then we're going to add in authenticated users and give them full control. Because remember, when you combine NTFS and shared folder permissions, the most restrictive of those two wins. So we're going to kind of eliminate the shared folder permissions by making authenticated users have full control. And then we can actually lock down this resource with our NTFS permissions. So let's stop permissions inheritance. So we can set these permissions up the way that we want. And let's edit that and set it up so only uh, that only domain admins and also the patients group have full control uh, to this resource. So let's just double check domain admins and, and patients have full control. So that's how we want to set it up. And again, when we look at our shared folder permissions, authenticated users having full control is what we have it set up for. And if you think about it, what's more restrictive? Just the patients group having full control uh, and the domain admins group having full control or authenticated users having full control. And, if, and it makes more sense that these are the more restrictive permissions on the NTFS side of the house. The next thing we want to do is go to our Windows 7 machine and we are going to map a network drive. So let me go to a command prompt here and we are going to map a network drive to our C drive that has that, that shared folder called Navy. And we want it to use the X drive, put in the UNC path of server C, JH, and then Navy is our shared folder name. So again, this UNC path, uh, net use, X colon is our drive letter backslash backslash server name backslash and then whatever the shared folder name is. So let's do that to map the network drive. We have mapped it successfully. We can go in here to our computer and see that there's our X drive and there's our danger zone dot text and there is the contents of the danger zone dot text file. So that's all we need to do for this portion of the lab.